The lumbar spine in the lower back commonly degenerates with age, causing leg and back pain. Components of the spine include the vertebrae, lamina, disc, spinal cord, and nerves. With degeneration, abnormal growths called bone spurs can form. There are many causes of low back and leg pain, including spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis is most frequently caused by the gradual degeneration of the spine from aging and arthritis. Spinal stenosis may or may not cause symptoms. You may feel pain, numbness, weakness, or cramping in your legs. Your symptoms may come and go and vary in intensity. They are often brought on with walking. Many cases of spinal stenosis can be treated without surgery. However, surgery is recommended if you experience severe or progressive nerve involvement, loss of function, and continued pain. Lumbar laminectomy, also called lumbar decompression surgery, is used to enlarge the narrowed areas of the spine. Lumbar spinal fusion restores stability and involves securing a bone graft to the bones in the spine so they will heal together and form one block of stable bone. Let's take a look at the procedure. An incision is made in the middle of the spine at the involved levels. The muscles and tissues are detached from the spine to allow access to the spinal bones. Bone is removed along with thickened tissues and bulging or herniated discs. If the removal of bone makes the spine unstable, the bones are permanently connected to stop movement. At the end of the surgery, a temporary drainage tube may be placed to help reduce blood and fluid collection in the wound. The incision is then closed and bandaged. You will most likely wear a brace for support while your spine heals. Physical therapy will help you strengthen your trunk and learn proper body mechanics for activities. The recovery process is different for everyone. Generally, the recovery time for lumbar laminectomy is a few weeks for resuming light activities and several months for a full recovery. Lumbar spinal fusion has a longer recovery time. Your doctor will let you know what to expect. You should remain as active as possible within your doctor's set limits and adhere to your safety precautions.